played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rav's Arcade. All right, guys, welcome back. Whew. That's a hot cup of joe. Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm, of course, your host. <laughs> I'm, of course, your host, Rob French, and this is my sidekick, my co-host, as always, our, our four over here. Yeah, I know, dude, I didn't read a lot of comments. Look, we'll get to all that in just a moment. I know. This new episode of Boba Fett. Actually, it's the last episode of Boba Fett, huh? I know. Yeah, so we got a lot to get through. Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French. This is my co-host, R4. And it is time for another midweek breakdown. For those of you who are not familiar with the midweek breakdown, this is where I just kind of hang out with you guys, talk about, you know, some like Star Wars stuff, comic book stuff, whatever you guys might be into and share with you guys my new comic books from my local comic shop, the Comic Book Club Incorporated. Now, they also have a great uh, YouTube channel if you guys aren't familiar with them. I definitely recommend you guys checking out their channel as well as mine. They'll give you guys everything that's coming out this week, every like magazine, comic book, action figure, like whatever, and then you can kind of come back here, hang out with me, and see exactly like what I picked up from the uh, the local comic shop there. All right, well, yeah, let's get to it. Let's jump into this episode. Hopefully, you know, it's the midweek breakdown at some day. I really hope you guys are getting through this week okay. It seems like this February has been a rough one for people, man. Like, you know, I thought it was just me. I'm losing my keys, losing my wallet, losing my freaking mind. And then I go into the comic shop and it seems like it's a virus. It's like this thing, this a cloud, this weird thing. It's just like hovering around everybody. Mm hmm Yeah, like some weird bad karma. And it's just, it's, it's causing chaos. It's wreaking havoc on everybody. So if you guys are kind of going through it, don't worry. We all are. It's like, I feel like every day is Monday. It's, it's Wednesday, new comic book day. Yeah, it should be like the best day of the week. And it just feels like another Monday. Like Monday felt like a Monday. Tuesday felt like a Monday. I just wonder if it's because like we had such an awesome like weekend that if like, you know, it's not like some kind of weird like karma thing going on. I know, dude, I hate, you know, I don't like karma either, but I, just, I, I don't know. I feel like that's what's going on. Anyway, um, let's forget all the funk. Let's try to get into the new fresh funky grooves and feels good and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, it's Wednesday. It's not only the time for the midweek Wednesday, not only time for the midweek breakdown, but it's also time for a new Yeah, I'll get it right in a minute. Okay, so yes, it's Wednesday. Not only time for a new episode of the midweek breakdown, but also a new episode of the Mandalorian, um, or as we have come to know it, the book of Boba Fett. It seems like, yeah, no spoilers. I'm not going to give too much away, but it seems like the more and more we get into the book of Boba Fett, it's really just the Mandalorian, like 2.5, basically. Like these last few episodes, it's like, what... What what were the first four episodes of the show about, really? Like, nothing. Just, oh, I got out of here, and now I'm here, and this is what's going on now. And then all of a sudden, The Mandalorian shows up. It's like, psh, 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 psh. really, really great episode. I, like, lip quivering. If you're a fan of not only the original movies, but also the Clone Wars, there's so much that gets, like, wrapped up and tied up. There's not a whole lot of waiting going on, trying to figure out what's going on with Groku. Like, it's just a really, really good episode. Yeah, all around. Like, oh yeah, totally, yeah, absolutely, you're right. Um, if you guys have not watched 
Book of Boba Fett because like you're like oh, I don't know I've been like seeing like really it is it's awful like the first like I, I feel like the first four or five episodes of Book of Boba Fett are just really bad like I know they're like episode one and two bad but if you can make your way through it the last like three episodes are absolutely freaking amazing just absolutely worth checking out and you know um i made a statement the other day all star wars is good star wars it just is it just is the good makes you appreciate it for being what it is and then the bad makes you appreciate the good for what it is and i don't i just i'm not going to go into a whole big thing but if you started watching book of boba fett you were like, no, this isn't for me, but it's not the same as The Mandalorian. Watch it, because... <laughs> yep, by the end it becomes The Mandalorian. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next segment of my show where um, I share with you guys how many comic books I read, but this is kind of like... It's embarrassing. So... I only read, believe it or not, three comic books this week. Yeah, I know. Well, this one was really hard to get through, and it's like the best of Optimus. I think it's got like four comics in one, so if you want to like think of it as like one, two, six comics instead of three, maybe. I don't know. This was really, really, I was like really looking forward to um, like reading this book. Yeah, I know this is the one like we were, we were really excited about this, but this was a really, really hard read. I mean, it took me like several nights, just a little bit at a time trying to crank through this like little one shot here. And yeah, I don't know. It's just it was really, really tough, really tough getting into this, but I actually bought this, um, <laughs> I actually bought this from my homeboy, uh, Anthony, back home in uh, Virginia. So, I don't know, dude. Hopefully you'll like it more than I did. Tough. I, I even thought, like, the, the 80s comic for the Transformers would be really cool. But, yeah, it was it was really tough. I think my favorite this week um, is a toss-up between... Nope. This one right here. Really good. Always love Alien. Just, you gotta love Alien. Hands down. Yeah, it's that Outer Space Jam, buddy. It's that Outer Space Jam, buddy. All right, so let's go ahead now and jump into what I picked up. Yeah, we'll get to your pick in just a moment. Don't worry. Let's go ahead and jump into what I picked up this week. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Deaths of Wolverine issue number two because I feel like I messed up. I feel like it started... I thought it started with the Deaths of Wolverine. I've got the Deaths of Wolverine. Blah, blah, blah deaths of wolverine number one but i feel like this started with the lives of wolverine number one and I, I think i'm missing an issue and i even felt like going into uh the deaths of wolverine part one issue one i was kind of lost a little bit but yeah i mean sometimes yeah like x-men books you don't really quite it could be like a story carrying on from the third like just titles i wasn't really sure but I think I kind of goofed on this, so we need to hunt down the lives of Wolverine, issue number one. Also, we have Amazing Spider-Man 88. I love they got this little bay in the corner for the beyond. Coming out from Image Comics, celebrating 30 years, as we can see, demonstrated up here in the corner. We've got Scorched, who dies. Yeah, nobody dies in comic books. I don't know who they're, they're kidding. Like, everybody comes back in Star Wars, comic books, whatever you got. Nobody stays dead forever. We got the Joker, number 12. This is truly a horrendous cover. Very dark. I'm loving this. This, this belongs, like, in a frame on a wall. We got Detectives, number 1052. I love these guys are giving me the glossies. Like, typically, I don't really go for the glossy covers. But 
with my subscription. These guys have been handing out these heavy glossy covers and I like it. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. That's beautiful. Also, you're gonna like this. Got some Star Wars here. Now, these are my favorite titles of Star Wars. His two, because they tell all these really fun, quirky, goofy stories, these in-betweens that we don't quite get to see. And, whoa! More Star Wars. I know it's a big week for you, dude. You're, you're excited. R4 is like, where all my Star Wars comics go, man? I do enjoy Star Wars. I enjoy Star Wars Death Vader. Those are two that'll probably carry on. And, oh, wow. It looks like we're up to the last two. Now, this is my, my pick of the week. Uh, just because these books have been a lot of fun. Uh, just catching up, reading old turtle stories. I was really excited with the April O'Neil, Shredder. What was the other one we had? April O'Neil, we had Shredder. Casey Jones, that was a great one. And now we've got the best of Jenica. What a beautiful cover. I love this so much. Again, great job done by Biggie. Biggie doing all these sweet covers here. He just knows how to handle it so well. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your covers just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Can't wait to dive into this guy right here. I uh, recently bought to like tide me over when I was visiting home a couple of months ago, a Jenica like, uh, uh, like a paperback um, collection, if you will. One of my favorites. All right, dude, yeah. One of my favorites and uh, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm looking forward to this a lot. And I, like I said, I just love these TMNT best offs. Can't wait to jump into this one. And now, without further ado, it's time for our fours pick of the week, which is actually also, I know you've been, he actually, he was asking about this last week. I don't know. I didn't really hear about this. Um, but yeah, all right, dude, chill. So Dolly at the Comic Book Incorporated mentioned this. She was like, there's a really great book over there with a really cool Wookiee. And like, I really had no idea how cool this cover was. Like this is just, like just for the cover alone, she's right, absolutely beautiful. Got this like royal looking Wookiee here. This really cool ship in the background, which I believe is the Galactic Star Cruiser that they're talking about here. And then the sword, like, look at that. It's not just a Wookiee with a lightsaber, but like this, like Conan the Barbarian style lightsaber, almost like a Thundercats Ho, right? Really cool. So yeah, there's R4's pick of the week. Also Dolly's, she was like, just, did you see this? I was like, no, I didn't. She was like, well, check it out. I was like, all right, I am. And if you like it, then we'll, we'll save it for you. Good upsell, Dolly. And then my pick of the week. All right, well, there we go, guys. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of the Midweek Breakdown. And until next time, remember, guys, it's not goodbye. It's simply to be continued. And until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else. You got it, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. And I'll see you next week. Make sure you like, make sure you comment down below, and please, please subscribe. You don't want to miss any of my videos. I got new videos almost every day. You just, you don't, uh, just.